Welcome to the bold analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Mbuvi Sonko is Ruto's proxy around Kalonzo Musioka, and I don't think he should be allowed anywhere around Azimula Umoja. There have been the narrative that Mike Sonko is going to give Raila's votes in Mombasa. I think Raila got votes in Mombasa in 2007, 2013, and 2017. But I don't want to underestimate Mike Sonko. I also want to say that Hassan Omar should quickly reject any endorsement from Mike Sonko because I don't think that is going to shape that contest in his favor. He is just a better man. And if you look at the way the impeachment story has been playing out, you will see that Kalonzo Musioka tried to carry Sonko baggage, but that baggage is just too heavy. And it seems Sonko's fate is sealed. After the series of court cases, also at the IBC, after starting from the IBC Tribunal, the High Court, the Court of Appeal, and the last judgment from the Supreme Court, it is eminent that Mike Sonko is not going to be on the ballot in Mombasa. Ten days to the general election, Mike Sonko is still contesting and still wants to be on the ballot. But the days are running now out. So even if he was to be accepted in, does he have 10 days to explain to Mombasa residents what he's going to do? But again, I don't want to speak on their behalf and I'll try to stick to this analysis. When Mike Sonko joined Azimula Umoja, he shared very glamorous photos with Raila Dinga and Mata Karua, escorted President Uhuru Kenyatta in some Nairobi tour, and endorsed Polycap Igade. But after that, uh, the president of Supreme Court, Martha Kome, who then lead a five-bent judge to seal the fate of Mike Sonko. And that's how he was kicked out of that race. Not even William Ruto, despite of having soft ties with Chebukati, could rescue Mike Sonko. And I think someone is so committed to set a presidency, a presidency um, for the chapter six. I don't know whether Sonko's impeachment touches on chapter six, but it borders on the chapter, chapter six. Sonko have had many enemies, and one of those greatest enemies has been the High Court judges. The exposés and the recordings about underhand dealings of the judges that had painted the judiciary as a more gullible and corruptible body are things that came out to haunt Mike Sonko. And that is why his latest move to join uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, because yesterday he came out and said that he was going to make a move, and even if him is going to be blocked, from uh, contesting the Mombasa seat, let Ali Mbogo be allowed on the wiper ticket. And he seems to be running with the narrative that someone is hellbent to demean Kalonzo Musioka by making sure that Kalonzo Musioka's party do not field a governor candidate. But I think there is something that Sonko is not seeing. Kalonzo Musioka, Raila Odinga, and President Uhuru Kenyatta are micromanaging Mombasa. Mombasa politics and even though they're so close with Kalonzo for the optics but I think Kalonzo Musioka knows what exactly is the right thing that is going to happen in Mombasa or what is being on table in terms of Mombasa so to today he also sent he shared another video in his Facebook page a three minute video and that was a video of Deputy President trying to have a swipe against Kalonzo Musioka while campaigning in Ukambani. And I want you to listen to that.
clip here because from that clip we will have a general understanding on what exactly Mike Sonko is up to. Imagine. Sasa Kalonzo alikuwa anafikiria ati atakuwa running mate. Yule mtu ya na wili akamwambia hapana. Kama unataka kuwa running mate wewe kwenda fanya mtihani. Fanya interview kwanza. Si alimpeleka Kalonzo kwa interview. Ni madharau si muuliza Kalonzo ako kwa interview. Eh uh eh -huh. jina yako ni nani? Kalonzo Msioka. Eh uh eh -huh. Umesoma mpaka darasa la ngapi? Ili tumpeleke huyu mzee nyumbani. Ametesa watu wengi. Amesumbua sisi wengi. Si hata huyu kana ametesa. Amemwangaisha haja muangaisha. Mimi nasema mimi nitasaidia huyu Kalonzo Musyoka kwa sababu ameteswa sana na huyu mtu akitendawili. Hii serikali tutaunda na nyinyi tutapatia huyu Kalonzo awe kitu katika hii serikali yetu. Mimi mnanielewa? Na mimi siwezi kuja kufanyisha Kalonzo interview. Si mimi najua Kalonzo Musyoka? Kwani mimi nitakuja kumfanyisha mtu mwenye mimi najua interview? Mnasema nisaidie Kalonzo Musyoka? Mnasema nimsaidie huyu Mungwana? Tuko pamoja. Si mnajua hata Songo alikuwa anataka kuja 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 kutafuta kiti ya gavana hapa Nairobi. Hapa Mombasa. Si hata Songo wamemwangaisha? Si wamemwangaisha? Mpaka saa hii amekwama. Hawa watu tuwafukuze tusiwafukuze. Waende jumbani wasiende jumbani. Mimi naomba kura yenu jameni watu waachangamwe. Mimi hasla nimekuja kwenu kuomba kura. Mtanipatia kura zenu? Naomba kura ya watu waachangamwe kwa heshima na kwa unyenyekevu. Naomba kura yenu. Mtanipatia kura zenu? Mtanipatia kura zenu? Hebu nione kura ya hasla nione kura ya hasla. When Sonko posted that video, he was asking what is in store for Kalonzo Musyoka. That is what he asked in his Facebook page. What was Kalonzo Musyoka promised? I was asking, um, uh, I was asking William Ruto, basi mkubwa wangu atapewa cheugani? That question was a swipe, not to William Ruto, but it had some political intention. And that question was addressing Azimio La Umoja team. I want us to look at that critically to try to break it down why Sonko is taking that direction. But I need to remind you about our, our, uh, our three weeks, our 21 days challenge to raise one million for Sarah. So far, I need to just confirm from here because uh the trickle in this is like up to the last transaction we are at 110,140 yes so this we've achieved this in the last 48 hours we've done this this is the second day you're doing it and we believe that this is going to work um sara is one of our subscribers he reached out to us and I think through us, he wanted some support, suffering acute leukemia, but has gone through the sessions that just need, uh, uh, the, the bill had inflated to one, to one million. And so we're just raising to help through. The number, my number is 0710-627889. And you can also reach out directly to Sarah. Her number is 0716 357 360 but for the 50 bob challenge i'm in charge because i want us to give it we'll give a check as team bold now guys uh, sonko is a man on a mission and i think he's most likely going to destroy kalonzo musioka the route that is taking in my understanding is just he wants to blackmail railo dinga team and this is by polarizing Kalonzo's loyalists over the running mate miss. Because he's asking which position is been given. So in, in, in simple terms, he's trying to ridicule 
what Kalonzo is getting in Azimula Umoja. And this, according to him, I think because he's now venting the anger, the forces that were behind his trouble, according to him, are people that are well connected. He tried to hang in the court of Kalonzo Musioka, but that was not still enough for him to rescue his political career. And now, what he's now doing is now just going to vent anger and trying to tell Kalonzo Musioka supporters that what they have in his meal perhaps is not it and just trying to ridicule. To that extent, it's just supposed to wipe some, just bring some emotions. And according to him, that would maybe coalesce Rail Odinga team to bring him back on table and renegotiate on how they can work together. I don't think uh, there is an exit route. There is, I don't think the exit route to, uh, from Azimila Omoja to Kenya Kwanza because it's, it's so much of a worry to Rail Odinga because Kalonzo Musi, uh, Ma, uh, Mike Sonko has not been campaigning with Azimio. So he, is, he can be perceived as someone who has been a late comer and he's not really into the Mombasa equation. This can also be strategically uh, used by Mike Sonko perhaps to try to reach out to Ruto. Because the truth of the matter here is you must position yourself because politics is about interests. If your interests can be covered by Azimio, and if Azimio cannot call him on board, can he call you on board, then he's also trying to reach out to Ruto's camp. By now, trying to go out and say that I am not supporting any candidate, but I'm trying to pursue the interest of Kalonzo Musioka. According to him, Kalonzo Musioka does not have a stake. But that, to me, is far-fetched. If time is gone, Kalonzo have hit the road, he's been campaigning, and I think the voters have made a choice. That they are, who those who are going to vote for Raila have made a choice. Those who are going to vote for William Ruto have made a choice. So this strategy, according to me, might be too late. I want to say that Sonko um, going out to say that he will actually endorse Hassan Omar. And that is why I was uh, giving free advice to Hassan Omar that he should not be very much appreciative of Sonko's endorsement. Remember when Sonko joined that race, Hassan Omar and the ODM candidate, Abdul Swamad, they all joined to brand Mike Sonko as an outsider. So the narrative that has come out in Mombasa is that, Song, uh, is that the ODM candidate is a project. I, one narrative that I really don't appreciate. But then, if Sonko goes and say Hassan Omar, Perhaps that is going to, uh, to shape the contest into a two-horse race. But what will that add? It will come out that perhaps Sonko was a proxy of William Ruto. And that is why the statement I started with. So people who may be at Inazimula Umoja, it will have a thought of supporting Hassan Omar, even without supporting William Ruto, will then see William Ruto in the picture. And that can be perceived as tilting the scales in favor of uh, Hassan Omar because now Songo has his own supporters. But according to me, it would be easier if Songo just stays back, maybe the way per candidate to give their candidate, so that there will be that division of votes. To that extent, Hassan Omar will really have a lifeline. But Songo going out will just be going out in anger. And when Songo goes bare knuckle against the ODM candidate, Songo Joho rivalry will emerge. If Zongo goes to campaign for Hassan Omar, Joho will go back and retreat in Mombasa. That, according to me, that rivalry will finish Hassan Omar. Because the same issue, why they were opposing Songo because they said Songo is an outsider, they would be judged that perhaps the Mombasa governor seat is going to be remote controlled by Mike Songo, who is a remote, who is an outsider. But then, I think to the man Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, Sonko is out to demean his stakes in Azimula Moja. What I can say is, he's saying what has he been given? Honestly, he's been given the position of chief minister. Even if Sonko would want Kalonzo Musioka to join Kenya Kwanza, it's too late. What is in the store for him? And I think 
Kalonzo's political future in this election was not only it was working with the Zemi was not only in the in, in the conference of this election, but Kalonzo was also trying to make a long shot. Which one would be easier if he sticks with Raila or William Ruto? William Ruto is in ballot 2027. With Raila Udinga, the race can still be open and they can even pick another person and Kalonzo might find himself in the line. So I want to say that um, Mike Sonko's trouble and saying that he's going to join uh, Kenya Kwanzaa or now rather supporting Asan Omar, to me, um, it might be influential, but I want to leave it to Mombasa voters to tell us, um, now that Songo is out of the race, what's going to happen?